Hey guys, so it is day two of the self-improvement improvement health challenge and the challenge that I'm using calls for a figure from reference and to link the reference and since we're doing this on video um, rather than trying to link the reference I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm using and I know it's super tacky to do it this way but I am doing a yoga pose and um, drawing figures from reference is something that I do as a regular part of my drawing procedure and my warm ups. I think it's really important to do this on the regular because it makes it easier to pose your characters when you're trying to draw them in a comic. And just a general familiarity with the human figure is something any comic artist or convention artist really should have on tap. So um, usually when I start drawing figures, I lay down some construction lines. And right now, since we're doing something that has a strong gesture, I am doing sort of like the basic shape of the pose. Then I lay in a line of action. And I learned how to draw figures mostly from reading Andrew Loomis, reading and drawing along with Andrew Loomis. Yeah, Andrew Loomis is um, figure drawing for all it's worth, but really Glenn Vilpu's drawing manual was much more helpful in breaking down the figure in a way that was meaningful for me. So I start with a modification on Vilpu's sort of like rectangular beanbag bodies. And then I sketch in an egg shape for the rib cage in sort of a box for the pelvis. And this is literally my warm up this morning. This is the very first thing I am drawing today. And when doing figure drawing, especially for unusual poses such as this one, I really try to exaggerate the gesture because I found that as I construct the figure, it tends to lose a lot of the spontaneity and the life. So if I over exaggerate in the sketch phase, I'm able to keep most of that. Okay, so we've got a basic skeleton down. We've got a circle for the head. We've got a plane, sort of that shovel shape we talked about yesterday. And I'll go ahead and zoom in so you guys can more closely see what I'm doing. And since I've got everything sort of sketched in, I'm just going to start refining shapes using cylinders. Oh, it's really cold in my apartment this morning. It's making it hard to draw. My hands are all stiff. And I think after I finish this figure, I'm going to go ahead and do another one for you guys in time lapse so you can sort of see how it all comes together. And I can see that I shorted her torso a bit. So I'm going to work those legs further down. And since this is a sketch, I don't really care if it seems messy. It's just about getting the figure down, warming my hand up, limbering up those muscles. And seriously, this morning, it is really about warming that hand up. All 
right, so that is warm up number one. I'm gonna go ahead and pick another gesture and do that for you guys in time lapse. So I hope that this is helpful for you guys. If you ever have any questions or if you ever wanna see me break down a specific pose, just let me know in the comments below and I will try to accommodate you guys as much as possible. I think next I'm going to draw a male figure since that is something um, I know I don't do too, too often. guys so that is a couple of different figures um, male and female in a couple of different yoga poses and I went for yoga poses because they do tend to be a little more extreme they tend to be a little bit more uh, dynamic than um, what you can usually easily find online so if you're looking to practice your gesture drawing your animation your dynamism I highly recommend like yoga poses or karate poses tai chi poses that sort of stuff anything that um, requires flexing and the bending of muscles will usually make for good reference photos if you wanna practice for certain things. But if you're just getting used to the human body, I highly recommend, um, I know Pixel Lovely recently changed their name and gosh, I just forgot what the name is. So I'm gonna have to look that up, but I will include in the links in the description below, links to figure drawing resources available online, as well as suggestions for search terms that'll help you guys find figures and poses that'll help you improve your drawing. So once again, if you guys have any questions, if you'd like to see me go over anything step-by-step step or slowly or explain things a little bit differently, please let me know in the comments below and I will try to get to that because I want to teach you guys or I want to help you guys learn things you didn't already know. And the only way I can do that is if you guys tell me what you need to know. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you again really soon. If you want to find, follow along with my improvement hell progress, you can check out my Instagram at instagram.com slash Bye guys.